to Mr. JWW and today we've got a, a real treat and a real change because I'm with Louis from Life on Unleaded. Hey guys, we are in his 1967 Mustang Fastback. It's your baby project. It's I been know. your baby for two years now? Yeah, I know. Almost. Over two years. Over two years. It's finally working. Yeah. Dude, I've been seeing good. pictures of the build for yeah. the last sort of 12 months, really. Yeah. I've seen it from body yeah. to now, and now we're in it. Yeah. It's, it's quite a big occasion, really. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. When I, I, this car first came over from New Jersey, like over two years ago. Right. And you think, you look at it, I, mean, I came over and it looked like it had been sprayed with bullets. There was rust everywhere, and it's like... It came here and I was like, what the hell have I done? <laughs> Why have I decided to do this? And then like, I don't know, you kind of like, you have to have like a real sense of like patience and like, you've, oh, got, love, man. you've got to love these things to keep up with it. Because there's been so many times doing this yeah. where I was like, close to just being like, no. And you I have, to, yeah, you have yeah. to just like power through it, man. It's like, I suppose it's like any restoration project, like when you watch Grand Designs or yeah, something like that, exactly. people are like at the point of tears. Yeah, oh yeah, I've, oh yeah, these loads, things, of those, you know? yeah. loads of those times. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, ugly crying, fetal, so what, fetal position. What made you go American? What made you go old school American car? Um, I don't know, I think, I think they quite value for money. Yeah? They don't take themselves seriously. Sure. Kind of like me. <laughs> and it's like, they're, they're just fun. Great big old V8s, yeah, yeah. agricultural. And, you know, they're just they're just great fun. Yeah. That's the thing. And it's like, for me, I, instead of buying like a modern car, yeah. which and sometimes driving this, I wish I had a modern car. Sure. That had fuel injection and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I wanted to bring a bit of life back. And I've always loved, ever since like Bullet, Steve McQueen. Oh man, I've that always scene. Been, I've always been, yeah, that, exactly that. That scene in San Francisco. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I, uh, yeah I've, just, I've always loved these cars. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I why just not, thought, well, why not? Yeah. Might as well, so. Well, I have to admit, when I pulled up at your house and I saw this thing staring at me, I did have a big smile on my yeah. face because I thought, man, that thing looks so cool. Because you don't see these things around. No, you never that's, see that's them on the road. Well, yeah. They're so rare. Yeah. So, and, and they're big, they have so much road presence. Yeah. So when you see this thing on the road, it's like, what the hell is that? Exactly, you know? yeah. No, it's cool. Very, very cool. It's, um, it's, it's just really different. I just like, I love old, I just love old school things like my, my bikes, like from the 80s. Yeah. I, I, I can't explain it, I don't know why. I just love, love these old school things, old yeah. Porsches. Yeah. Um, anything old, it's just like. I think the word character is what oh, these yeah, things have. So like, much character. Yeah, yeah. I know it's such a, like a generic term yeah. to use, like character, but they are packed. Yeah. Although, even getting in this thing, the smell of it is amazing. Yeah, it's, you know? that's all the old smells like, so cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But even, I mean, just. Even petrol. like I can smell the petrol. Yeah. What's cool on this is the the filler cap smack in, in the, the middle, middle yeah. underneath the, the badge, right? Yeah. So that's, that's a, a nice touch. And the, yeah, exactly. And it's like little things like that. You're like, that is yeah. so good. You put, really up to, you put up to fill up. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about where you park. Exactly. You can it's like a little easy thing. Great. So two years in the build. Yep. What was the trials and tribulations of this build? Oh God, don't get me started. <laughs> it, it came over. Um, but, Parts took ages to come over from America. Yeah. Like you needed new wings, new front end, new like skins wow. on the back. Um, so full and it's just, body work. Yeah, loads of. The only thing that's original is the roof. <laughs> that's <laughs> really okay. It. Nice. But wow. there's, loads, there's loads little job, bits. Then. But it's just that when stuff gets so rusted. The nice thing about American stuff is yeah. that people don't really tend to care if it's all original. Like with a Ferrari, they want like the original shorts sure. and stuff like that. A Ferrari, with, with, they want like with, the original Spanner set. Yeah, exactly. The factory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With, with, with the Yank stuff, people just don't really tend to care as much. Cool. I mean, unless it's like a Shelby, yes, GT500 or GT350 or something like that, people probably would want sure. all original stuff. But the thing is, um, sometimes you just can't do that. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, you I know, can't imagine it, these, it's the easiest thing to find parts of these from the 60s. You know, if you what, want the original, original, original bits. Original, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but the new yeah. stuff, the thing is that in America, right, that's the great thing as well, is that there's such a massive culture now. Yeah. Because in America, it's all, you know, over the West, it's like dry state. So a lot of these guys are running these as dailies, especially with fuel, they're paying like, yeah, of course. Two, two or three dollars for a gallon, and we're paying like ten quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, and, um, and yeah, the parts are mass produced. So well, okay. Oh, so it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not. Right, not, not it's fine. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's easy to get parts. Nice. It's All not right, like cool. you're not struggling. And then, um, and then it got painted, so we took it to um, a company called Everyway Solutions in Southampton, who aren't far from me. Yeah. And they're wicked, and they did a fantastic job. I just wanted it black, which is big, like, people. Maybe a bit boring. I, I like it. Like, but, like, yeah, cool. I, I like cool. it. I'm kind of like, yeah. In bullet, was it like a green? Yeah, it was, it was like, like a, green. It's like a moss green. And everyone said moss like, green. everyone said to me when I first said, oh, you need to make a bullet or make an Eleanor. And I said, yeah, but if I do uh, that, yeah, make it your own. Man. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's only ever going to be an Eleanor red. Like, exactly. Or, or if you're putting red. your heart and soul into it, make it your own. You know? Yeah, exactly. Right. It's a prime example of how the arch is rolling. Oh, no, it's not doing it. <laughs> no, never mind. But yeah, 
the old, I need to roll the arches. Still a few things I need to do. I need to sort out the exhaust, it hangs too low. Um, I need to sort out some bits on the rear end. Other than that, it's almost there. Although I don't, I don't have a sound system, so I have to use a... To be fair, the engine sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. sounds good. What do, you, what do you need? And so, exhaust system. Yes, last night you were showing me valve. Yeah. What's, what system is on it? Is it just a completely bespoke thing? Yeah, it's basically, so you've just got um, long tube headers and then stainless system. You went, to, you went to a scaffolding site and pulled off a just pulled a hood. Pulled yeah, off some scaffolding. It. You might as well. well. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like this. <laughs> and um, and then basically, so that goes all the way to the back. Uh, no cats, obviously. You sure. don't have to have them. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you want them? Um, and then basically, right after the manifolds. Yeah. Uh, after the after the collectors into the start of the system, I basically got bypass valve. Nice. So you press yeah. a button and you basically get nothing but like raw engine noise.
always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Louis on Life on Unleaded. Check his channel out now. He's got loads of previous content and there's lots more new content coming soon. But for now, it's a sunny day in England, which yep. for my channel yeah. is rare. Yeah, very so rare. we're gonna hit the road in the Stang. Yep. See you next time. Hello guys, ciao.